Saturday Social, brought to you by EA Sports FC with PlayStation 5. Joe, what a weekend mm, last weekend. Ridiculous. For three Premier League hat-tricks. Uh, Son, Harlan, Ferguson, three absolute ballers, as we know. And as we've got a former Premier League striker yeah. in the studio, it inspired us. And also, morning Paul Dickov as well just messaged me. Another former Premier League striker <laughs> watching <laughs> what the show. Yeah, yeah, Giving me banner random. already. Yeah, yeah. He was giving you a bit <laughs> of banner. Stop he was, it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Today, we're going to be ranking, yeah, like you said, Premier League number nines Ooh. from each and every Premier League clubs. As usual, we've got the Saturday Social Whiteboard out with a being the best tier, E being the worst tier. Mm. Importantly, though, Erling Haaland. Should we just put it? We're putting him in his Ooh, own tier. Not included. Okay? Because he is too on a good. different level right now compared to any other striker in now the Kane's league, left. really, isn't he? So that's the Haaland <laughs> I like it. Now Kane's left. <laughs> now yeah. Kane's left. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> now Kane's left. Uh, we're going to have to agree, or you're going to have to come to an agreement on yeah. where to place each player. And if that can't happen, you can't come to an agreement, me and Smithy will have to intervene at some stage. Mm -hmm. um, alphabetical okay. order, then. The team. <laughs> you just said you're working with me. Yeah. <laughs> Starting with, with so let's start with Gabriel Jesus. Mm. All right. For me, that's the, the wrong striker. Should be Enketia. You think uh, you would have Enketia? I would have Enketia. Yeah. I, he's been unreliable. Yeah. I, I, he's been unreliable. This is ridiculous. He's been no, unreliable. I, 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 I would agree with you there because I don't think. Best I don't think. I, I can't say that. Hey, yeah, Gabriel Jesus is a, a striker number nine. No, he's not. For me. The best, position, he's had, the best seasons he's had. The best seasons he's had has been from the wide areas. Yeah. He doesn't score enough goals. I think was he scored twenty six goals. Uh, sorry, twenty six appearances, eleven goals, seven assists. That doesn't. Not bad. That doesn't. At uh, Arsenal. Yeah. No, that is bad that at is Arsenal. Bad. It's not. It's uh, better Arsenal, than Lacazette. You should better be, than Aubameyang before him. Yeah, but yeah, David, Aubameyang's but, winding down his career. Lacazette is the same. I, 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 we we have to have Gabriel Jesus in A. Specs, you, you, you agree. So you're that good. You're I would put no, Gabriel Jesus in A. No, no. I've been putting him he up. Was, he was a full-time Premier League winner, and you might say, yeah, some of his best performances are out wide, but still when he was used but down the middle. He wasn't playing regularly at Man City. Whenever he came in for Aguero, he was crucial. Has he scored more than Aubameyang? Highest, at Arsenal. No, so we're not talking about career, right? We're talking about Arsenal, right? Yes, Arsenal. It, it's where you play uh, Arsenal. He, he, he's not an a A-list striker. No, I think now me. he's available, he'll play more games than Nketiah. Spex, and what, what do you think? Because you are the Arsenal well. fan here, so what do you think? Um, well, I'm an Arsenal fan as well. Arsenal and Burnley, sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. me, me personally, I'm with you. I don't see him as a striker. Ooh. I'm going D. No. D? D? No, no, that's, wow. that's reckless. That's reckless. <laughs> hold on, no, that's hold reckless. I was going B. I was going B. Wait, wait. No, I was going B. Let, but, but, he, but, you're, but he's not a striker, though. Yeah, but he is a striker. He is a striker. No, he th is yeah, a striker. He's a striker. So where does he play for you, then, if he's not a striker? When, when, when he starts for Arsenal, I see him, he comes very deep. He's and he's never, very good at it. And Ketia always stays higher. Oh, but, Specs, we were just saying how good Kane is at that. Why can't we give Gabi Azuz? Because that's not Kane. No, but Jesus doesn't have Kane numbers, does he? Kane. Jesus doesn't score those goals. I know, I know. I'm not saying he's as good as Kane, but I think he's definitely an A in terms of some of the rubbish that we're coming up with in this list. No, I'm going to want him D. You want him D and you want him A. This is No, I want him D. Because I was... Because it should be Ketia. So you think there are better number nines in the league than Gabriel Jesus? As a number nine. Other than Haaland. As a number nine? Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. That you would swap at Arsenal. Yeah, we need a number nine. <coughs> yeah. I said, when, when Arsenal first signed Jesus, you can ask Robbie this as well, I said, Arsenal need to sign a number nine, a striker that's going to score 15, 20 Premier League goals every year. Do you year. not think he brings so much else to the team? Like, he's so good at, his hold-up play is brilliant. I think Thierry Henry called him infectious last year. Like, his infectious. attitude. He's unreliable. He's he unreliable. unreliable. I think he had a bad you know, I'll, I'll be honest with you. In my opinion, if we signed a top number nine... Like a Victor Osman or something? Yeah. yeah, I'd put Jesus on the left, I'd put Saka on the right... Where and I'd put Martelli playing? On the bench. Ah, oh, Jay. <laughs> I'm with you. Uh, that's I'm, what I am. Yeah, that's I'm what I'm saying. Hang on, you, you agree with that, Jay? I'll agree with you that, agree yeah. With Martelli, Martelli for me okay. is... If we're not B. having him in A, can we have him in B? Specs. Yeah, B for me. I'm okay, we've got B. two agreements in B. B. Hi highest B. ever Premier League tally is 14, by the way, Gabriel Jesus. That's his yeah. highest ever tally. That's, I don't think that's... he's ever started more than 22 games, though, because he was bench at Man City uh, under Aguero. We need a decision because we're still Let's on... Let's put him in B. I think what? C. B. 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 You want C? It you want... should be A, but B. 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 There we go. Uh, OK, B. You're putting in B. Okay. okay. Let's move on to uh, Ollie Watkins, which we hope isn't as long as that one, otherwise we are in trouble. Uh, Ollie Watkins. No, that's A. That is that is Not above Hazis. No, I, you want to lose his team? He's taking his love. All right, no, okay. <laughs> Who's the Premier League striker? Would you go with Watkins? Would you take Watkins at Arsenal right now? Over uh, Gabriel Jesus and Aketia? No, I'd, I'd bring Oli Watkins to Arsenal, yeah. And but start. If I, if I can't get Osserman and players like that, then I think he would be a good I think addition. He'd be a good option. Yeah, a good squad. Would, would, he, would he start over Jesus for Arsenal of for course. you? As a, as a number nine? Yes. yes. Playing the centre. Yeah, I think he'll score more and goals. And you agree, more Specs. goals! 
I'm, it's course, I'm struggling with this, guys. I'm I, struggling with this. I can't believe no, you, but you're talking about a player. Jesus is a better player than him. Yes. A better player. But we're talking about number nines, right? <laughs> See, this is the thing about this debate, right? You have to put things in perspective. If you're talking about him as a number nine, yeah. right? And I'm talking about him as a number nine, Ollie Watkins. I'm saying as a number nine, Ollie Watkins would be more effective in go. Arsenal's team scoring goals than Jesus. He's on a real hot streak. He's done amazingly since Unai Emery took over. But he was... A little bit, his finishing was up and down at points under Gerard. He was in and out of the side. I think we are disrespecting Gabi Azou slightly, but I would put him in B, a low B. Yeah. B. I, I, <laughs> we, got, we got tears within yeah, this game. Put, B? I'd put him in B. Yeah. Okay, okay, B, let's, let's go. Out. Well, <laughs> go on, next okay, up. Dom. Where did you put him as? Hold a. On. A. Oh, Dom Solanke. He's, 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 I'm going to start with this. I think he's a C. I he's actually think good. he's playing really he's well at the moment. Done, he's done no, well. he is. I to be honest, he wasn't convincing me at the beginning, but yeah. he started to play really well. He's good target same. man. He's yeah. good at dribbling. He's been effective as well for Bournemouth. So, CCC? You, you all agree with C? I want to get him out. Okay, there we go. Uh, Interesting one next one. Ivan Tony, obviously suspended until January. The third top scorer in the Premier League last season with 20 goals. As you've all said, Kane and Harlem were way above everyone else. Tony had a good season, didn't he? He's an A for me. Mm, he's A for me. He scores goals. He's prolific. He's strong. He leads the line really well. If you put him in one of the big teams, he's going to score at least 20 Premier League goals a season. Great on penalties. I know you like set pieces. Penalties. <laughs> penalties is well, he unbelievable. He scored 20 last season for Brentford. Exactly, for so Brentford. So if you put, took him to like someone like Arsenal, I, think, I would love Arsenal to sign I, him I can't, I can't believe you're saying so he scored 20 goals and he scored 14, but you're saying we're putting him in B. Well, Gabby was also injured for lots of last oh, Yeah, that's a fair point. Okay. I, I think if they played the same amount of minutes... What, but Gabby Jesus would get 20? I think Gabby what about the previous season? season? Yeah. What about the pre like, <laughs> He's never played. So he's never played you, Tony outscores Jesus every season. Every, even if, even if Gabby Jesus plays more goals. I think Tony's amazing. I think he's B. Mm. But I, I, think, I think he'll score more goals than, than Jesus, than Ollie Watkins yeah. in the Premier League. So, so you're saying B, Doogie. You're saying A. So, Jay, where are you saying? I think A. Okay. Yes. Right. Two so to one. A it is. Doogie's not happy. 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 Okay, well, the next striker is Doogie Critchley. Yeah. Right yeah. <laughs> Evan Ferguson. Yeah. What a player. I think right now we can't put him in A. He's only played 24, 25. Where would you have I'd agree with that I think well. he's a... A B at the moment. I think he looks the ceiling though. No, no, I think ceiling. He's 18 years of age. No, he's, he's sensational, but we're, are we talking but... about now or ceiling? No, we're Both. talking about. We're talking about. Uh, it's whatever you you want to now. refer to. He's but now, but now, I see him walking now. He's finding his feet. He looks sensational, yeah. but I don't. I don't think we should overhype him too much. And I, put him I in would a. have gone C to be honest. Yeah, C or B. Because I, I think even though he's fantastic, he's 18. He's he scored goals. Last season, he wasn't a guaranteed starter. Welbeck was playing a lot. But he was only 17 at times last yeah. season. Yeah, I know, but Rooney was only 17 when he came in the team. He's only well, the fourth... We're comparing him guaranteed straight yeah. away to Rooney, are we? If no, I'm saying... People, level, have, been. people yeah. have been comparing I'm to Owen just... Rooney this week. Well, yeah, I think he's, he again, his, I think only he's a natural number scored. nine to me. Mm. Yeah. Like, these, like, Jesus is not a natural number nine. He is a natural number nine for me. I think he'll be a great striker in the Premier League. I think he'll score goals in the Premier League. But then I look at his overall game as well. And it's pretty spectacular his overall game. No, he's done, he's done well, but I think it's, there's a lot of improvement there. I still, I, I would go C with him. Okay. I love him. Personally. Only the fourth 18 on history to score Premier League hat trick. Eight hat trick, sorry, eight goals in the last eight starts for Brighton in all comps. 18 years of okay. age. Okay, if you go and see, where you, you happy with that, both of you? Yeah. I think it's a little early C. to go any higher. Yeah. C or B? But okay. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. Let's, get, let's get it up. Okay. Okay. okay next, next up, up Burnley. Amdouni, Zeki Amdouni, of course, this is the 22-year-old that cost 16 million from Baal in July. Let's go to Doogie, because I know that you know quite a bit about him. Um, I don't mean to be harsh, but in terms of Premier League proving, you're probably putting him in D at the moment. I don't want to write him off, but he did have a good year at Basel last year. Mm. I think he was the joint top scorer in the Europa Conference uh, uh, League. Yeah, seven um, goals in that. The, yeah, he got to the semi-finals, so they only lost to Fiorentina. But we haven't seen enough in terms of... Uh, five against five these, for Switzerland as well. Mm. Yeah, against these other Premier League strikers. Yeah, well, I, I, I would agree with that, Doogie. I would that's, agree with yeah, that. He seems okay. harsh. You, you, know, you know more about him, yeah, right? It should be, it should be Lyle Foster uh, as the nine. But, but yeah, we'll go with him. So OK, let's, let's get it up. Let's go. They're not happy with some of our choices, yeah. Jay. <laughs> yeah, apologies. Uh, Nicholas Jackson. Mm. This is a tough one, you know. I, like I think, he, I think he's got a lot of potential. Yeah, mm. man. I think... He reminds me of Adi think. I think if Chelsea get it right, and I think they will get it right with Poch then I think he'll be very effective. I think now we're just seeing a player that is getting used to the Premier League, he's yeah. getting used to Chelsea. But I've, I've liked his performances, even though he's missed some chances, I would say. I like him. I'd probably, I'd probably put him in C. Yeah. I'd go E. E? Yeah, he has, he has, to, he has to start scoring now. No e? Yeah. He hasn't scored. He's got talent one, as well. He's talent one. as well. You've got to look at his well. talent as well. It's not just goals. Yes, as I, see, I, I see shades of Adebayo, but... <laughs> It's Chelsea. It's Chelsea. Or, or, well, I can't. It's hard to rate their players right now. 
because I feel like they're going to have a... Why are you putting him in ease, Bex? Because of some of the chances he's missed, it's, is that? Or yeah, what, what yeah. It's, it's, that I, I see, I I'm still see that. I, a lack of composure. Great oh. second half of the season last year at Villarreal. Quite harsh to put yeah, him he, in. He was fantastic at Villarreal. He, yeah, he, was, he only started regularly from like January. He was linked with Bournemouth in January. He's, he has done really well. I actually think, I think he's the biggest underperformer of his XG in the Premier League so far. So he's getting the right positions, but he's missed some big chances. Yeah, I think he is, he is really harsh. Chelsea didn't mind. I don't think Chelsea even put him to start. C, where do you have him, Jay? Yeah, I, I would agree with C. I'd okay, with C. C it is then. Um, I, I, we got to talk about Ferguson. players' ability as well, Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. We've got to talk yeah, about sure. players' ability. OK, odds to Ferguson's only there because he's 18 and he hasn't played he has regularly ability, for, you know. for, for, for Brighton. He has ability. If he was at Chelsea, Chelsea would be doing better. OK, Crystal Palace next, odds and Edwards. Uh, 19 shots in the Premier League this season. Only Haaland has had more, interestingly. Uh, scored twice in the game against Wolves, was it, I believe? Yeah. Yeah. Low down on the list. We have yeah. to have oh, one oh, player oh, in every um, category. I think yeah. he's really, really underperformed at Crystal Palace up until this season. I don't think he's been very good yeah, at Yeah, so that's what we have to take into account. Well, last did. season, really. Yeah, yeah. And the whole yeah. thing. I, I'm, I'm going E from last really season. Well. I'm going E. He played a lot and didn't really perform. It's difficult given the, the form he's in at the moment, but yeah, E or D. I'm yeah, I'm going E. My has to come and help him. Amdouni. Yeah, why not? Amdouni hasn't given the opportunity to underperform yet. Who have you saying E? really done it. Yeah, it's moving from Celtic. Yeah, E. Mm. Has had a good start to the season. Next up, Everton Beto, who's made a good start to life. I you know what? what I, you'd have to say. I like this guy. I saw him at Udinese uh, uh, last year, and he's busy, busy. He don't quick. He's quick. I don't know if he's going to get a lot of goals at Everton because I don't. I feel like they lack like quick creativity. Yeah, well. but I, I like he's him. I think a, he's been a good target man. Yeah. He holds the ball up really well. He, he, at the moment, he's kind of reminding me a bit of, as in his all-round mm. players, a bit of a Mikel Antonio. As in, he does a lot of the unselfish things. He holds the ball up, bring other players into play, which is great in itself. But I think as a goal, goal scorer, I'm, I'm going to go D. Yeah. yeah. D. Been probably. consistently yeah. around the 10 goal mark in Italy, though. Yeah, but a lot of appearances off the bench as well. I hadn't, it wasn't mm. nailed on start there. I think at the moment, he looks really promising in his debut versus Sheffield United. But it, it has to be D. He can't be on the same category yeah. as Evan Ferguson at the moment. No. OK, okay. Yeah. Uh, next up, Raul Jimenez, uh, not scored in his last 27 Premier League appearances. That's Fulham Amal, which is his longest run without a Premier League goal. <laughs> He's done I, 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 what I think I should say with Raul, though, before we <laughs> slap him in here, like, we've got to mention that horrific injury he had. And I was looking mm. at his goals-to-game ratio prior to that, and it was absolutely phenomenal. He was linked with there was clubs like Man United yeah, and other United, clubs that were linked, well. linked to him, and Juventus, exactly. So I always think that's worth... Putting into concert. And as a 100%. former player, can you talk yeah, about I, how much when an injury can I'll be honest you? with you, before that injury, yeah. uh, again, I, I thought he was a fantastic striker. He, he, he runs in behind. He, 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 his technique is very good. He brings other people into play. He can dribble. Mm. Um, so I think he was a really good player. And I think he was destined to move on to a bigger club. But then, unfortunately, that injury did happen. Yeah. And we're rating here based upon now, right? And mm -hmm, since yeah. he's come back. So I can't put him in any other category apart from E because he hasn't scored, like, he, he hasn't been prolific at all. Can you give us insight as a former striker, what, like having an injury, not, not obviously that was a horrific one, but what, if you do have a long-term injury, what that can do? Because it is a position where confidence is a massive factor, isn't it? Yeah, and I think he's, ha I think he's changed his game. And I always think like that kind of injury, when the ball comes in the box, you might always subconsciously in the back of your mind think, am I going to get smashed again by a keeper or by a player? Um, and it's very, very hard. You know, you see players, even when they come back from crucial injuries, you know, it's hard for them to go into them real tough 50-50s again. Um, so it is really unfortunate. It is really tough on him. But again, we're, we're ranking on now. OK. Yeah. Yeah. And I think Do I can't you? put him higher than it is. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's also got to play with that kind of weighted bandana, which yeah. must just slightly upset, upset your balance as well. It's so difficult to come back from that injury. Okay. I mean, even Petr Cech, I think, wasn't ever quite the same level. Yeah. OK, yeah. let's go okay. to the next one then. We've got Darwin. Mm. An Ooh. opinion splitter. <laughs> oh. Bex, should we go to you first for this one? You see, I wake up one day, he's A. Next, and then I, next day, he's E. What day was that? He's C. <laughs> because <laughs> it's like against um, Newcastle, he's come on and. Devastating. Devastating. Yeah. Then he I'm starts and then, uh, against Aston Villa and misses an open goal. So it's, so it's inconsistent. Yeah. That's the thing about yeah, I want to hear what you got to say as well. I think I he's a C at the moment. I think he underperformed last year. I think only Havertz underperformed more in terms of his XG. But he still ended up with 14 goals, which wasn't too bad given he was mainly off the bench in the second half of the season. The Premier League. He started this, yeah, sorry, in all competitions. Yeah. I think this year he started obviously really well. I think he did end up getting an assist in that, in that Villa game. Um, but at the moment, yeah, I think he's got to be C. I can't, I can't put him but any natural higher. Ability, to put him any lower. But natural ability, when we talk about nines and movement and stuff, that is Highland. Chaos factor. Jay, you stay hey. quiet here. 
Yeah, uh, for me, he's like between a C and a D. Um, when he has played, he played a majority of his games on the left. When he has played as a striker, I don't think he's played well. We talked about missing chances earlier. He's mm. missed loads he missed of chances. Loads, yeah, and, and I'm talking mm. about, like, these are good chances. Mm. Um, yes, he was fantastic the other day. And, you know, we talk about giving him a chance. I know price tags, you know, oh, yeah. 80 million as well. Like, mm. if, I'm, if I'm signing a player for 80 million pound, I'm expecting him to come in and score goals. For me, he just hasn't done it in the Premier League yet. That's not to say he won't. But he would really have to work on his composure as a striker. Okay, where we get about there? There's a then. bit of a I'm going to let you, you guys can decide this C one because I'm going specs. between C and D on this one. Mm. Specs, you got the, 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 the signing call? C. I was going to go C? B. Okay, C, there okay. you go. Let's get him up. All right, next up in C it goes. Next up, Luton's Carlton Morris will forever be etched in Luton Town folklore because he did score their first ever goal in the Premier League. But where do you place him on the Saturday social whiteboard? I don't, I don't want to disrespect him. That's the thing. I mean, the first ever going to Premier League is a, that's, a, that's a big ass. Yeah, but that might be his last. That might be his last season. as well, though. We don't know that. It was his first year of doing really well, though. I think he only he'd never scored more than eight league goals prior to last year. He's played for a number of different clubs in all sorts of different divisions. Like massive respect to getting to this level. Mm. But you look at the calibre of some of the strikers on there. Exactly. He can't be any higher than I, a D. Is I want to put him in the E. I'll to put be honest. Him in I want to put him in the E because, okay. like okay. you said, Duke. He's not played in the Premier League long. He scored a, one goal. What your point was, he scored the first goal, but that could be his last goal. We don't know that. Yeah. Mm. Good luck to him. Though. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Next okay. up, we've spoken about Haaland already, so we've gone for the other Manchester City striking option, Julian Alvarez. I, I love Julian Alvarez, to be honest. Um, Is he the second best striker in the league? Second best striker. Is he the second? Because I've seen the argument made online yeah, no, it, that City yeah, have got there, one and there two. Is, there is that argument I would go with. Uh, a Man City is playing as a number 10 at the moment or in wide areas, but that's purely because Haaland's there. Yeah. You can't really, you can't take Haaland out of the team. When, he, when he's played up front, he's scored, he's done well. Mm. Like, does he start for every other team in the league as their number nine? Yes. Yeah. I'm putting him as an you, A. You all said yes straight away. Yeah, yeah. definitely. No, no, no. no. Yeah. A? No. He but, doesn't start Arsenal as an A. So he doesn't start Gabriel Jesus? Jesus? For me, they're very similar. Even though he's playing, but his career before he came to Man City, he was a striker. He was yeah. scoring goals. He's won the Copa America. He's won the World Cup. He's, he's won, won the treble the and the World Cup. Mm. He won the treble. I'm sure, he, was I'm sure playing, he was playing up front for Argentina as well when they won the World Cup. Yeah, he's, he's got four 14, goals. Yeah. In the he's got World 14, yeah. 14 yeah. Yeah. He's got a brace in the World Cup semi final. To me, he's an A. He's on the Ballon d'Or shortlist as well. He's a B. He's got to be A. Two versus one. Two versus one. A. There we go. Next up, Man United. Rasmus Hoyland, 20 year old. What did you make of his debut, Jeff? Yeah, I liked him. He only had a you know a small part to play, but when he came on, he put himself around. He's quick. He caused problems when he came on. You know, in Italy, he wasn't prolific, but he put in some good some good performances. I think it's too early to say that he's a A or a B. You know, I think if I was going to say anything, I. Put him down in C. Yeah, I'll probably go C because I think he's got a ceiling, what and I think he will like be. This? I think he will score I goals. Think C's quite generous, uh, just on what we've seen so far. He's, he's as we said with Carlton Morris, we haven't really seen it in the Premier League. I think he's only ever started 20 games in the top five league. You know, there is a lot of promise there. Um, he's six foot three. He can run a sub 1100 meters, but on, on the same level as Evan Ferguson, Nicholas Jackson, Darwin Nunes, I don't think so. so you're going yeah, no, I, I, could, I would probably I'll, go D. I don't mind going with that, to be honest. Ooh, okay. I don't mind going with that. Joe is I, I was not happy as a Man United fan there with D. <laughs> yeah. What, what, what would you say then? Good arguments. It's what good would arguments. you say then? I would have him C. But then that was me as the United fan. And your argument it's for D was strong. So I, I think he will be good for Man United. I think yeah, this too. is what Man United, United need. Him. All right, okay, so put it where you want. Put where you want. Uh, let's go on to the next e? one, nice. which e. is Newcastle and Alexander Isak. Mm. Oh, oh, Isak, uh, oh. he's high for me. What? Yeah, he's high for me. Oh, man. wow. He's high for me. <laughs> How can you not say Let's see what you've got to say. Hold on, I want to see what you've got to say. I don't think he's a nine. And I, 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 you, you know he's not a nine. No, he's a nine. Adam Wilson is, a, is, the, is the nine for Newcastle. No, he's a number nine for me. Isak needs to move wide. He's Is, got, Isak, has, Isak is similar to Gabriel Jesus. 22 appearances, 10 goals, two assists. Okay, but the start of the season... That so, means he's doing something every other game. Okay, so what about this season? This season? This season. He's, he's, he's done well. Oh, he's done, and he's and done well. Did well. oh, you not see his goal? What's up with this then? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they've had some tough line. fixtures. Yeah, they've had some tough fixtures. You cost them a very good time. Ten men? No, no. He's quality. For me, he... He's, he's got the he's got um, dribbling. He's strong. That's he's winger. fast. That's winger. He's composed. That's, that's a winger. That's all the winger. No, no. He's a good finisher. Is Henri a winger? Yeah, but is that different? No, way. why? <laughs> well, you, you can see shades of Henri and Isaac. No, no, I can't see shades <laughs> of him. But I'm saying he, he would come deep. He, he's good at link-up play. He's got football intelligence, which I think is key as Dude, a striker. What do you think? Settle I think they're play. good at. I actually think he's got 
uh, the similar traits as Henri. He's obviously not as good as them just yet and, and probably will never be. But there's, yeah, I don't think Henri's a crazy well, comparison. Him. I'd have him in B. Yeah. I think he's done really, he's, really well in the Premier League. I'm saying B. Yeah, I would put him in A, but I'm happy to go with okay. B. Well. Okay, get him up. Well, let's rattle through the next few. Um, Taiwan. On one year, Ooh. yeah. Forrest. What a player. That's Nine a. goals in his last eight Premier League appearances. That's A. That's A. Can't have him above Gabriel Jesus. No, no, I can't, yeah. I can't either. Or Watkins he, or Isak. He's C. He, look, for me, he's another player that I would say is effective, very effective for Nottingham Forest. If you said to me, could he go and play for a, a bigger side, I'm not sure he could perform so at that kind you of level. So you'd have him in C, would you? Yeah, I'd have him in C because he's effective. He's done well recently. And it, when he first came, he wasn't he wasn't playing really well. Yeah. But I think he's found his feet now. I'd put him in C. I think he's good in seven consecutive games. C it is then. C. 15 goals again. Next one. Sheffield United's, Sheffield United's new United. signing. Cameron Archer. Looks really good on his debut versus Everton. Yeah. Scored a goal, forced the own goal as well when the ball came back off the post and hit Pickford. Great season on loan. Really good season on loan, but never got a look in at Villa, which makes me concerned to put him too high up on the list. But looks, I mean, similar to Hoyland, we just need to see what he's going to do in the Premier yeah. League and better. That feels like the unproven level D. Yeah, D, yeah. we're going with the unproven with D. D. Yeah. All right, next up is Spurs. Now, we debated whether to put Richarlison as the stereotypical nine. Obviously, Harry Kane is no longer there, but they have played Sun in the false nine role and did score Smithy the hat trick. was demanding so, Sun in. So, which one do you <laughs> want to is the nine, though? No, he's the nine yeah, for Charles, Brazil. Yeah, he, he's the nine for Spurs. I think. Do you think some will play more often though? In that, I think he will now. Yeah, I think he will now. There. But we've seen him play for Tottenham as well in, a, in two up front with Kane, right? Where he mm. can run in behind Kane will drop deep. But I think, like you said, he has. He is the number nine okay, for let's Tottenham. Okay, then. I think he's an E. E. Yeah, I think he's got a shocking record. He misses a lot of chances. He works hard, but I think his overall play, his football intelligence on the pitch. I, I can only put him To try and there. give a bit of balance to it, a bit of fairness. Obviously, he starts for Brazil in that team with competition for places, scored at a good World Cup. Is, 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 is it a score for Everton? It, yeah, consistently. We're not Everton. talking about international, are we? We're talking about Premier League. Consistently. Now. Score for Everton, though. What was, his, what was his record? He was scoring 10 goals a season. Yeah, he, he 27, he, was it 27 goals? 27 appearances, one goal for Tottenham. One Premier League goal for Tottenham. Yeah, if you're doing on 27. current form, he's definitely E, but across his whole Premier League career, he's probably a C. He's, he, no, because he doesn't mean... Uh, he's he, he's, even for Everton, he, played on, he was playing on the left for Everton. He was playing on the left. He was playing on the left for Everton. But I think people are slightly forgetting that, you know, what, uh, Everton spent, what, 35, 40 million pounds on him. He was good enough for Spurs to spend 60 million pounds on him. People didn't think that was crazy at the time. Mm. He's been really bad for Spurs. I don't think there's any getting around that. He's really out of form. But he's, he's not never, an E overall. He's not on the same level as... Where would you have him? I think he, well, right now, I'd have him at D. I, I think in terms of his price tag and what he's been doing for Tottenham, he was never really prolific for Everton. He put in some great performances from that left side again. But I'm looking at it. As a number nine, you've got to score goals, right? He's had 27 appearances, I just one goal. You can have Brazil's Specs. number nine on the same level as Carlton Morris. F. <laughs> You're talking about Brazil. <laughs> Doogie. Yeah, but Specs. he's underperformed. I know, I agree. But we need to make a decision. E. Oh, we need to make a decision. E. E is E. <laughs> Two to one. can't have E. And e. That's so harsh. That's very really hard. The comments right now. Son, yeah. man. Son, Son, I would put A. A striker I'd put as A. Yeah. Come on then. Yeah. 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 Okay, there we go. Put him yeah. as A. There What's happening? This is carnage. Who can go next? Let's just do the last two then together. Let's Mikel Antonio and Fabio Silva. Mikel Antonio, that's E. If, a? We're what? if we're talking about, if, if we're talking, you, would you agree in, in terms of? I think he's C, to be honest. No, he's got. What? No. Last season, last 33, season. Five 33 appearances, season. five goals, three and, assists. And, and Europe? Yeah, what? I'm talking about him as a player. Can, His right, career is amazing, no, no, but. What about being effective? Yeah. No, I'm saying effective. Again, effective. So, especially you'd rather have him up front than Jay Zeus? No. For your Arsenal. Arsenal. For me, yeah. That's what you're saying? All right, okay, going back, you remember what you said about Kane? <laughs> what, were you, what were you said about Kane about decision. bringing players Kane, in? For, for me, he's not a natural number nine. Like, for me, I was at Sheffield Wednesday with him. I, I really like him as a person. Mm. I think he's really honest. Um, he's effective. He'll run the channels. He'll do the defensive part. But as a striker scoring goals, he wouldn't be an A or B. If anything, I put him in the C. C category. Got to push you for the last two. So let's let's yeah, make a decision. He's played with him. Put it there. Hey, Jay's played with him. He's got the insights. We'll go with that. And Fabio Silver, Silva. Fabio Silva, e. Doogie. E. E on Premier League record. Wow. Uh, he was good okay. on at PSV and Anderlecht. There we go. So that, there is confirmation of rankings. Spurs has two for Tottenham. I don't quite know what happened. <laughs> a bit wonky with the Magnus. But there is confirmation of them ranking every club's number nine. Let us know what you think of that at home. 